。住在南加州，想要参加二零二四大选义工的朋友，欢迎在本周六十月二十一号下午一点三十分，来到位于 Morovia 的 Impact Harvest Church。参选2024加州议会25选区参议员的黄美兰将为我们提供选举拉票和社区外展的培训。如果你对加州的现况不满意，而且你认为我们正在往非常危险的道路上一路狂奔，如果你想要和众多的加州居民以及基督徒的弟兄姐妹一起尽一份力，去让我们的孩子有美好的未来，让我们的家庭得到安全，父母的权利得到保障。恢复法律来改善我们生活。如果你是这样的朋友的话，欢迎来参加这一次培训的会议。在这场培训会中呢，我们将会学习如何敲门去拉票。敲门拉票有一些当做的和不当做的，包括你要如何与选民交谈，如何使用软件来帮助拉票。那除了上门拉票之外，打电话也是非常需要的，也会学习到打电话的时候当说和不当说的话，以及如何从电话中与选民交谈，还有寄明信片的方式也可以帮助拉票。那在这一场培训会中呢，我们会提供现场的中文翻译，所以讲英文、讲中文的朋友都可以过来，在这里不会有任何语言的障碍。如果你想来的话，请致电六二六六四二八四二九，或者可以发送邮件 campaign elizabeth for senate twenty four dot com 报名，让我们知道你想要来，我们会为你预留座位。Exit is the Latino exit from the Democrat Party because Latinos are conservatives. But、uh, I have a different story than most conservatives because I was a lifelong Democrat. I was like you said, I was an ex-gang member. I was an ex-gang member. I was in prison for a lot of years, and I, I was a lifelong Democrat. But I went to church one day. That's why I'm preaching on godly moral values. Because I went to church one day and I heard a pastor speak when I was a baby Christian, my early, my early years as a Christian, and、uh, he preached on、uh, that Christians were supposed to be voting on godly moral values. That's what we should be focusing on when we go to vote. So I always took that, and then when he told me that, and then、uh, I started seeing. The other side, they were Entonces, killing babies. Obama was making men go in women's restrooms and so on. So I was like, as a Christian, no、buenas, I can no longer support that party. No、so that's what more. I, and that's what I wanted to say is that we need more pastors to be preaching on the same things. We need more pastors to be getting involved. Y eso es lo que yo creo que los pastores también tienen que estar predicando sobre los valores morales piadosos y involucrándose en、uh, decir este mensaje a su congregación. Because we're in a spiritual battle, everybody can see that we're in a spiritual battle. So if we're in a spiritual battle, shouldn't it be the pastors leading the fight? So no, no deben ser los pastores que no ayudan en este batalla espiritual. We see what they're doing now. Now they're grooming kids. Vemos lo que están haciendo. Los están、um, educando a los niños the, en lo mal. Alphabet Mafia. First, they just said that we only want to get married, and now look what it's become. Estamos now they, they made. Estamos viendo lo que está haciendo la mafia homosexual. Al comienzo decían que nada más querían el matrimonio, pero ahora se están agarrando de, de nuestros niños. Now they gave them their own month. Now、uh, they're、uh, grooming kids in schools. Están educando a los niños a lo mal. They have drag shows for kids. Tienen eventos donde involucran a los niños. The kids can't even turn on Disney Channel, Sesame Street, can't even put on TV. They're ramming it down our throats. Nos están forzando que tengamos que aceptar esta cultura homosexual. And then we even see during the lockdowns 
that's when the church should have woke up. But I, I was disappointed by a lot of pastors that were closing their churches and they were not even speaking up. A lot of me and another a lot of influencers, like we're not even a religious organization. I'm not even a pastor, but yet we speak up, call it out more than some most pastors do. Y lo que vimos durante el tiempo de COVID es que las iglesias, en vez de estar vivientes, cerraron las puertas. Y para mí fue muy um, triste ver que los pastores no estaban peleando con nosotros. Yo soy uh, un influencio en las redes sociales, pero no veía que las iglesias estaban uh, apoyándonos en, en lo que queríamos hacer en tratar de mantener las iglesias abiertas. Where's the Elijahs, the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednegoes? Where are the bold men of God, like are, are the Christians from back in the days? They were getting killed for standing against the evils in their days. So we need the pastors, like I said, they should be leading the charge. The church should be leading this fight because we have so much against us on this side, conservatives. We have social, the news, the social media, everything, Hollywood, everything is against us. The only thing we should have on our side is the church. And yet, many pastors, it seems like they're more worried about being politically correct than biblically correct. Los pastores, lo que estamos viendo, en vez de uh, estar en la línea con la Biblia, están en la línea con la cultura, y no nos están apoyando. Nosotros necesitamos estar trabajando unidos porque están atacando a nuestros hijos con Hollywood y el eh, eh, entretenimiento, con la educación, por todos lados vemos que nos están atacando y nosotros queremos ver a los pastores que estén adelante apoyándonos en nuestros valores bíblicos. And we have to only back, well, Alexa, we only back godly candidates that we, we hold the line on the Bible. If any candidate goes against the word of God, even if it's Republican, Democrat, we call it out, we hold them accountable, we hold the line, we don't compromise if they go against the word of God. As my brother Eric was spoken earlier, the, even our own side, the California GOP was trying to remove God from our platform, all that, they're putting a lot of these rhino candidates and they do right. nothing in there. They need to be called out also. Don't just go along with these terrible candidates. Y nosotros como una organización que es Lexe, nosotros apoyamos nuestros valores bíblicos. Nosotros estamos viendo que por todo lado, no nada más se trata de demócrata o republicano, pero nuestros valores bíblicos y como habló Eric, hasta en el mismo partido republicano que se supone que es conservador, quieren implementar ideologías que van contra nuestros valores bíblicos entonces tenemos que unirnos en este tiempo y, y ponernos a guerrar contra lo que está viniendo recently we had a huge rally in front of Dodger Stadium we were, my organization was one of the main ones that was behind that, I'm sure you guys all seen because they had some Christ mocking organization at Dodger Stadium so we went out there and we stood against them but it was very disappointing because there should have been way more Christians out there and even I contacted many pastors that I knew and didn't many didn't even come like they're mocking Jesus right there at the Dodger Stadium we're out there coming out there against them and yet many churches didn't go out there there was there was only a few even today there's only a few even what's going on with israel like when are the church going to stand up if not now when like i said the, the covid did it uh, now they're grooming kids now the next they're going to be pushing pedophilia and where and now that they're attacking israel and yet the churches remain silent that when are they going to wake up they need to get involved Hace unos uh, meses atrás la organización de los Dodgers uh, pusieron un evento donde estaban honorando a los transexuales 
y ellos, en la organización que estaban ellos poniendo enfrente es una organización que se burla de Dios y nosotros como una organización con otros pues, uh, llamamos a todos a que recen afuera de, del estadio y llegaron muchos pero nos sentíamos um, mal que no venían los pastores yo llamaba a muchos pastores a que digan que vengan, a que apoyen, porque era algo que ellos estaban burlando de la iglesia. Pero ¿dónde está la iglesia en esos momentos? No llegan. And I don't think we can survive another election if we don't get involved because America is about to fall. But even you see it in all ways. The borders are open, borders flooding in, terrorists could be coming. Like in all ways. The church needs to be stopped being, like I said, being politically correct. And you see the left try to say, um, the, uh, don't put involve God in your faith. But there shouldn't be no part of our lives where we don't involve God. That's why America is going to hell in a handbasket is because they're removing God out. And we need to put God back in everything. And we make sure we put godly candidates in there, like I said, because America is about to fall. We're in crunch time. Jesus is coming back. So we need in. Like I said, we're out there, all of us influencers, we have so much. It almost feels like if I'm on the beach and there's a tidal wave coming and I'm trying to hold it back, that's the fight that we're in, me and these other influencers. And it, we just need the church to stand up and be with us um, in this fight. Because if I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down swinging. <risa> en, las redes, bueno, en las redes sociales nosotros somos los que estamos tratando de influenciar pero nosotros nos sentimos que estamos acá solos verdad yo estoy como en, en la playa donde viene una ola grande y yo lo que necesito es que nos apoyen nos apoyen con estos valores porque se trata de una guerra y yo no voy a parar de guerrar y, y los invito a ustedes que, que me ayuden en esto Because silence in the face of evil is evil itself. Silencio so we need to all get in this fight. Demonios, sí. And like I said, it's crunch time. And let's get our boots on and get ready for it. Because you see the other side, they're ready. They're all out there. Like even with all this, like you see them out there marching against Israel. Why aren't the churches Ellos out there? Listos. There should be all pastors out there more than men, where are they at? ¿Dónde están los pastores? You see them doing it, like he said, they're out there burning the American flags, disrespecting Jesus, all this. Where's ours? We, even if we try to have things, like look at this event, there should be more even pastors here. Like we have a lot of events, and they should be more even pastors here. Like we have events, and the pastors don't come out. They don't support us. 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 They don't support